Well, Mike Daisy's false reports on Apple's manufacturing are a shame, and not just for Daisy. That's what Eric Heseldahl says, and he says in a long piece on all things digital. It's a great piece. Thank you. So, remind us what Mike Daisy did and where he did it, and then we'll get to the shame bit. Mike Daisy is a theatrical monologuist who has produced a show called The Agony and the Ecstasy of Steve Jobs, which focuses highly on these alleged labor abuses uh, at uh, Apple manufacturing partners in China. Foxconn, and Foxconn noticed, primarily, like Pegatron, a couple others like that. And, and it, the show is fine for a stage show. It was, adapt, it was an admixture of, of, of true reported facts and also things that he said he witnessed, which ultimately we came, to, came to light that he did not. Um, the show was adapted, a shorter version was adapted for the radio show, public, uh, public radio show This American Life, and presented as journalism. Um, and I listened to this, and yes. it was compelling listening. Yes, and it was a terrific radio show for what it was. Yes. There were three key anecdotes in it. There was an uh, anecdote about meeting underage workers, there was an anecdote about meeting a man with a crushed hand, and there was an anecdote about meeting several workers who had been poisoned by a chemical called N-hexane, which is used apparently to polish screens. It's a hydrocarbon, yeah. None of them happened. None, none of them happened to him. Happened. None, none of them, them happened to witnessed. him. Some of the anecdotes are taken from actual news accounts. Some of them are taken from Apple documentation and, and such and such. But, but he went to China. He did indeed go to China. He worked with a translator there named Kathy. And when This American Life uh, you called the fact check, they said, well, we need to talk to Kathy. Here, here, well, he, what, he, he couldn't here, reach Here's her. what I don't get. This is a piece of theater. Why yes. did so many journalists pick up on this story and run with it like it was a, fa a bunch of facts? That is the greatest problem I think. And, and is that the shame that it's, why are you saying it's not just a shame for Mike Daisy, but it's a shame for yes. um, Ira Glass, who runs, he's the anchor for This American Life? Right, yeah, it's, it's a shame for Ira Glass, but it's also a shame for all the numerous media outlets that gave Mike Daisy ink and broadcast time. We're talking about CBS ran a devastating report on CBS News Sunday. Sunday morning, yeah. relied heavily and called called Daisy's work an expose, which it clearly was not. They need to unpack that and possibly retract it. BBS had him on the air. CNET News had him on, on their air at a reporter's roundtable. He was on HBO with uh, Bill Maher. Um, so pretty much any media outlet that has touched Mike Daisy in the last five to six months on this issue needs to go back, analyze what he said, and unpack it and maybe retract I it. I think there's two things going here. One, this guy was a great storyteller and liar, and he fooled a lot of people. And even when he was pressed on a lot of these things, he actually came up with sort of fabulous responses to the sort of the questions. I think the other thing, and I don't know what you think about this, is that there is a tendency in the media to sort of try to get companies and get people, and yes. they sort of took that too far this time. And it is not, it's not the case that we don't have to have, this dis we must have a discussion about the way the workers are treated in China. I mean, it just simply, you know, China is an evolving industrial mm. economy. It's got to go through the same problems that the United States did 100 years ago in order to, to reach worker, you know, workplace safety and health standards. But, but, I mean, but what Mike yeah. Daisy did ultimately was cause more harm to the issue that he tried to become a leader on by basically seizing on the opportunity to promote himself. And 10 seconds on Ira Glass in American Life. Um, it, it's, it's unfortunate, and uh, Ira Glass is the, probably the most respected radio documentarian in the English language, and he's going to have to work Which is it. probably why the retraction was one hour long. Yes, exactly. <laughs> thank, thank, you very, thank you very much, Eric Hesseltal of All Things Digital.